Okay everyone, it's been a while since I've done an actual Blender tutorial, so let's do one now. Um, this is um, the first shot of my uh, short film that I put out a while back, uh, Widowmaker Play the Game with Sexy Ending, which was um, a little bit controversial, but we'll get into that in a different video. So um, I originally rendered this, and uh, Diva's walking away from her destroyed mech, and then she... Uh, pans up and there's Widowmaker waiting for her and she gets into trouble and of course there's a sexy ending but uh, anyway I had originally rendered this and I didn't think anything of it and I realized oh you know the mech should have some smoke coming out of it and I'd already spent a lot of time on it I wanted to get it done so uh, I wanted to add some smoke to it but I didn't want to spend a ton of time on it so now I'm going to show you how to create the smoke effect really quickly uh, without a lot of render time and uh, so let's go through that. So right now we're just going to show how to create the smoke. In the next video, I'll show how to do the compositing and stuff. All right, so so open up Blender and then inside of here, uh, let me go ahead and make sure that my screencast keys are on. Yes, leave that uh, window open. And let's go ahead and create a cube. All right, so this cube is going to be the domain. This is where your smoke lives. So um, everything that's inside of this is where the smoke can be. If the smoke goes out of that, it'll bump up against the sides of the walls, just like it's in a physical box. Now, you want this to be as big as you need it to be for your your shot and no bigger, because the bigger it is, the more calculation Blender has to do. So um, we'll just scale it and move it uh, to the way we want it. And now adding the smoke effect itself is extremely simple. Let me scale this over here. Um, make sure the box is selected and hit spacebar to bring up your search and then hit it, type in quick. And the first thing that comes up should be quick smoke and just select that and you'll see that it's gone wireframe and there's another box inside of here. So if we were to hit Alt A and uh, um, preview this uh, playback, you'll see that the smoke is emitting from this inner box. So this is your emitter and you want to move and scale this into place you know, where you want the smoke to emit from. So obviously you want it to be a bit smaller than it was before. And now the smoke is emitting from inside of that. Super simple. Now, um, let's go into the parameters we're gonna need to mess around with to get our smoke to look better. So if we go over to the end here, the physics tab, uh, with our emitter selected, the, there's some things here, but uh, for the most part, the only thing that I really need to mess with is the flow type. So it's such a smoke, because smoke is coming out, but you could set it to fire and smoke or fire. So, uh, of course, for our purposes, we just need smoke. So go ahead and click on that. And this is not meant to be an exhaustive tutorial on, on how to do smoke. There's a ton of options. This is just to uh, get you started really quickly. All right, so now most of the stuff you're gonna mess with is in the domain. So if we select this outer box, uh, the domain, you'll see that there's a, a lot more options here. Uh, really, the only thing you really need to mess with for our purposes is this temperature differential. This, um, physically, this is the heat of the scene, but it, practically it's dictating the speed that the uh, smoke is emitted from. So um, if you hit it in, in preview here, it looks like it's moving fairly slowly, but if you were to render this and, and play it back at 30 frames per second, it's, uh, it's gonna be kind of fast. So I'm gonna turn that down to 0 0.05. And now you'll see it's coming out much slower. All right, so do it to whatever looks realistic for your scene. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do in the end here is I'm gonna do, instead of rendering it, I'm gonna do an OpenGL render. So I'm gonna render the viewport and whatever you see in the viewport is what you're gonna get in your final render. Now, of course, if you have time, you can switch to cycles and then you can bump up the, the uh, samples and stuff like that. But let me tell you the Smoke rendering uh, in cycles is extremely time consuming. So if you got the time, do it, it'll look great. If not, this is of course, like I said, a quick uh, kind of workaround. So, um, but what we got here doesn't look good enough. It's kind of banding, colors are banded and stuff. That doesn't look very good, not worth doing. So let's go ahead and turn on the smoke high resolution and let's see what that looks like. All right, that already looks better. So as you can see, you can see it actually looks like smoke. Still a lot of banding going on here. So what you want to do is under the resolution, you bump up these divisions as high as it will go without bringing your machine to its knees. Now, of course, um, you know, you know, the more divisions, the better it will look and the worse it will be on your computer as far as 
the, the time it takes. So as you can see here, with bumping up one division, it already looks much, much better. Still some banding. So go ahead and crank it up as high as you can go, you know, without, you know, obviously it's a quality versus time kind of equation. So um, the more samples, you, the resolution you crank it up as, the better it's going to look. All right, so I'm screen capturing at the time, so I don't want to go any higher than this. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to one. All right, so... All right, so that's what it looks like. Now, let's go ahead and go to our camera view here and move it back, rotate it in place. All right. All right, so this is our camera view. Now, you can render the viewport with these buttons here. You can render uh, one uh, frame with the camera button or with the uh, movie button, you can render the entire animation sequence. Now, before we do this, we want to do a few changes. So with our panel open, N on the keyboard, uh, first thing I'm going to do is change shading from multi-texture to GLSL. It tends to look better. Then under display, we don't want all these wireframes and everything like that and the grid and all that. So I'm going to turn on only render. So now all those widgets and stuff are uh, gone. Now, if I were to render this as a sequence, I'm just going to get this gray background. Uh, we want a transparent background so that we can do the compositing in After Effects, for example. So uh, go to the camera tab and under shading, open up the shading uh, tab. Then for alpha, right now it's set to sky, just set to transparent. And then if you do a little test here, you should see a checkerboard pattern. That means you have a transparent background. And when you go ahead to render, I would go ahead and render as PNG with the RGBA alpha selected, all right? And you render the sequence of images to the folder that you want it to. Um, I'm not gonna do, I've already done that. So let's go ahead and, and uh, do a, now I'm using After Effects for this because you know I have it, I like After Effects for compositing. Obviously you could do it in Blender. I could show you that in a tutorial later if you wanted to see how to do the same kind of compositing in Blender. But let's just uh, add an image just so we can have something in the background here. So we'll add this image. All right, so we have a background. And then I've already rendered the, um, the smoke and as a sequence of PNGs with alpha. And so I select the first one and it should detect that it's a sequence. PNG sequence is checkmarked and import. And we just bring it in here and you'll see that now, obviously, you're going to have to do some finessing. You know, this uh, edges and stuff look kind of gray and stuff like that. So, but like I said, this is meant to be kind of a real fast workaround. All right, so let's go over what we did again um, here. Let's start a new scene. So really, all we did was uh, add a cube, scale it to the way we wanted, hit the space bar, quick smoke, scale this little buddy down, our little emitter, move them into place. And then we went to the physics tab. Uh, we messed with our options here, temperature differential, turned on our high resolution smoke. Uh, we went to the camera tab under the shading. We turned the sky to transparent. And then here we went, turn multi-texture to GLSL and display. We turn on only render. And then we go, go ahead and render it to a sequence of images with alpha check marked. And then we go into our compositing. So that's adding quick smoke uh, using Blender. So I hope that this tutorial helps you out.